Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to enable SQL trace in session level, database instance level, uh, user level. So introduction, the SQL trace facility and the TK prof enable you to accurately assess the efficiency of the SQL statements, your application France. For best results, use the tools together rather than using explain plan alone. Okay, what is SQL, SQL trace and benefits? My SQL trace facility provides performance information on individual SQL statements. It generates the following statistics for each statement. Parse, execute and fetch accounts, CPU and elapsed times, physical reads and logical reads, number of rows processed, misses on library cache. Username under which uh, pass occurred, each commit and rollback. You can enable the SQL trace facility for a session or for an instance. When the SQL trace facility is enabled, performance statistics for all SQL statements executed in a user session or in an instance are placed into trace files. The additional overhead of the running SQL trace facility against an application with a performance problem is normally ins insignificant. Compared with the inherent overhead caused by the application inefficiency. How to use the SQL trace facility on TK Pro? The following steps to use the SQL trace facility on TK Pro. Number one, set initialization parameters for trace file management. Enable the SQL trace facility for the desired session and run your application. This step produces a trace file con Statistic for the SQL statement issued by the application. Run TK proof to translate the trace file created in step 2 into a readable output file. This step can optionally create a SQL script that stores the statistics in the database. Number 4. Interpret the output file created in step 3. Number 5. Optionally run the SQL script produced in step 3 to store the statistics in the database. Okay, what are the SQL trace levels? So there will be five levels are there. Level zero, no, no trace, just like switching SQL underscore trace off. Level two, the equivalent of regular SQL underscore trace. Level four, the same as level two, but with the additional bind variable values. Level eight, the same as level two, but with an additional of weight events. Level 12, the same as level 2, but with the addition of both bind variable values and weight events. Normally, we will use level 12 as always. We can go for level 8 as well. If you want only want to see weight events, if you want to see the what is the bind variables ex uh, executed, included in that SQL file, SQL script, and um, Wait events both will be combined in level 12. Step 1 setting initialization parameters for trace file management. When the SQL trace facility is enabled for a session, Oracle generates a trace file containing statistics for traced SQL statement for that session. When the SQL trace facility is enabled for an instance, Oracle creates a separate trace file for each process. Before enabling the SQL trace facility, you should Check setting for timed underscore statistics, user underscore dump test, and max underscore dump underscore file underscore size parameters.
this three we need to set before the SQL trace is enabling. So we need to time statistics it must be true if it is false. Okay. And then user dump test location. You can define on your own location. We can define our own location like uh, but by default location this is that uh, location. Max dump file size. The dump file size, the trace file size will be uh, generated based on the SQL uh, query performance, SQL query diagnostics. Way of recognition the resulting of trace file. If your operating system retains multiple versions of files, be sure your version limit is high enough to accommodate the number of trace files you to expect the SQL trace facility to generate. Number four, the generated uh, trace files may be owned by an operating system user other than yourself. This user must be to take the trace files available to your beef before you can use TK proof to format them. Step two, enabling the SQL trace facility or for the instance. This section covers enabling SQL trace facilities in your current session, enabling SQL trace facility on your different user session, enabling SQL trace facility for any instance on database level. Because running the SQL trace facility increases system overhead, you should enable it only when tuning your SQL statements and disable it when you are finished. Otherwise, it will be overhead for the database instance. And performance degrade will be happen. So when you want to enable, once enabled and you can find out the trace files, once after the SQL statements are getting completed, or after that you can disable that uh, SQL trace. Already time statistics is true, so we no need to set. What is the statistics level? So we'll set for session level and um, next trace file identifier uh, we need to set alter session set trace file oh, you can go uh, user trace the trace you can give PBMS like this also you can enable if you want you can disable disable Level 8 only weight events level 2 plus uh, level 8. This is uh, execute weight events and it will not fetch for the bind variables. If you want to enable bind variables also, you can go with bind also true. So, enabled for the session level like level 12. If you want to enable SQL trace. You can enable like this way also. If you want level 8, you can go with weight weights true and binds variable false. You can enable this way also. Also, if you want, go with uh, DBMS session, enable weights true and binds also true. Like this, you can enable like this way. So this is for some different kind of uh, some different session enabling that uh, SQL trace. Same time you can disable it is false. 
disabled after a session set is equal to is false installed before we are using this option so that is what we are getting error it must be installed before using so now we can create we can execute this query it will be passed this facility is automatically disabled for your session when your application disconnect from Oracle you may need to modify your application to contain the alter session command for example issue the alter session command in Oracle forms in your Oracle forms using that iPhone S option or in your Oracle forms design using the statistics option to enable the SQL trace facility for a session other than your current session, you can call the procedure dpmos underscore system dot set SQL trace in session. This can be useful for database administrator who are who are not located near their user who do not have access to the application code to set the SQL trace form from within an application. This procedure requires the session ID and serial number of the user session in question, which can which you can obtain from the VDollar session view. In the where class, you can specify a session by refer referencing the value of the OS user or username or program column in VDollar session. For example, the following server manager line mode session obtaining the session ID and the serial number for the operating system users is a test your own session level and different user session level now service level enabling SQL to identify that uh, service name on the uh, for the username from middle session we can enable that uh, we can see that the service name and uh, username for the user so select star from db enabled traces select trace type primary ID, qualifier id weights binds from db enabled traces select star from system uh, WRI dollar underscore tracing underscore enabled. So level 12 trace on service name weights equal to true points equal to true. Like you need to execute execute dbms monitor underscore serve underscore mod, mod underscore act underscore trace underscore enable service underscore maze SR test or SR test block weights true binds true. This is level 12 uh, trace enable for the service name. So we can disable like execute dbms and underscore serve underscore mod underscore act underscore trace underscore disable service underscore trace model weights equal to or true binds are true like execute dbms underscore monitor that serve serves underscore mod underscore act underscore trace underscore enable service name that sr test model name is cool developer we are where we are running that sql query so you can give that model name is cool developer Weights equal to true, bind equal to true. This is for level 12 trace on module level. To enable the trace facility for your instance, set the value of the SQL trace and SQL initialization parameter to true. Statistics will be collected for all session. False. So enabling database level. Now, so it is enabled the database level. It will, it will. The, now the trace is enabled for all the session. All the sessions will be enabled the trace. So, it, once uh, the application session could be traced, you would have turned up the SQL trace. Otherwise, it will be generating more trace files. It will be performance degrade your database instance. System level. Earlier we have, we have enabled for session level now the database level. Tracing information is present in multiple trace files and you must use the traces tool to collect it from the single file. So multiple files it will be generated. So you can use the traces traces utility to merge with a single file. So you must use the traces tool to collect it from the single file. The traces utility is useful for consolidating the tracing of particular session or service or performance or debugging purposes. So here it is the traces help traces output output file name session session ID client 
client id identifier service service name fax and action name module module name so example how to use cd user dump test location uh, traces utility traces output utility sr test underscore long underscore dot uh, trc service name equal to sr test star dot trc so ls5 will lrt sr test is long underscore dot trc it will be generated like this it will be converted as single file next is tk4f okay once we have generated all the trace files whatever the trace files we have generated i mean the current my user session or any uh, any of the user session trace or database instance level or module level or service level is called trace files to produce more readable output tk profit does not support commits and rollbacks that are recorded in the trace file so note that set the time and the status is permitted true when tracing session because no time and underscore well time based comparison can be made without this true is the default value with oracle database 11 g onwards so we can we no need to enable explicitly so example how to use the tk pro utility tk pro sub test uh, that we have what we have traces uh, that uh, we have uh, make it a single trace well right using the traces uh, utility so we are going to read that uh, we are going to use the tk pro for the trace file tk pro sub test will score long trace output file name is a different long is text so that will be generated as a text you can mention like it will be generated as a size. sys equal to no there is no sys level with trace files uh, i mean system trace files sys user files so it will be on some different uh, sessions files we are using now you can see that after a trace file uh, tk from sr test the converted trace file converting into output file as a text format for human readable format more readable format output so it will be available that uh, sr test underscore long dot text will uh, generate the tk from so we'll read those uh, tk from output i'll show you in the next video so that's all my friend and i hope this video will be helpful and i i took uh, all this information from this oracle site i referenced on the blog oracle lemos note and as well as the docs.oracle.com so thanks for watching oracle function